Scammers on Craigslist targeting people in the Denver metro area. A woman desperate to find an affordable place for herself and two pit bulls was almost a victim. Now she wants to warn others. 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts has her story new at 10. Eric, because pit bulls are banned in so many cities, this woman created her own Craigslist post looking for a place that would welcome her dogs. She thought she found a great home in Inglewood, but luckily contacted us before she sent any money. This is the only one of the only areas that accept pit bulls. It was the perfect house. So I was this is my spot, my area in the perfect place. The would be runner who didn't want to show her face says she was ready to move in. I got a text from this person that said they had this place for rent. They exchanged many texts over the last few days. He asked if she was a Christian. He says God is good. He has stayed with me after I lost my child and I was divorced from my wife. She didn't want to believe it was all lies, but this red flag could not be ignored. He was out of the country working on an Ebola crisis and the only key was with him. And so after the paperwork and the money was settled that he would send me the key. She contacted 7 News for help tracking down the real owners here. We reached them in California and they confirmed they have no association with whoever this is. He's such a, a con man to talk about religion and a dead son and a divorce. She says she wants to warn others so they don't get their hopes up. It's so cute. I love it. Just to get ripped off. Now I'm just kind of devastated that I don't have a place to go to with my dogs. <laughs> There are so many Craigslist scams. The site even has a page devoted to how to avoid getting ripped off. There are even some emails here from real scammers. Good to look over this before you use Craigslist, and we have it posted for you on our 7 News app. Lindsay Watts, 7 News.